From a double lightning strike in Russia that debunked an age-old myth, and a truck driver who didn't think weight limits applied to him, to an exploding oil tanker that shows why you should never text and drive, and a piece of iron that fell off a truck and nearly took out a passing car. Here are 10 shocking road moments caught on camera. The number one rule of tow truck driving is always put the arm down when it's not in use. This clueless New York driver must have missed that lesson. It was December 11th of 2023. Coincidentally, a different tow truck driver had their dash camera rolling when this moron pulled onto the street. It didn't take a genius to realize the arm would cause some serious damage. Thankfully, the bridge was solid and stopped the truck in its tracks. We can't say the same for the traffic light, though it was a pretty accurate shot. It's unclear if these men worked for the same towing company. If they're rivals, the guys at Clutch Towing should show this clip to potential customers. Work with us, because other towing companies hire idiots like this guy. Speaking of idiot truckers, let's zip across the world to Russia, where this driver thought weight limit signs didn't apply to him. On October 10th of 2018, our Russian trucker tried to take it slow and steady over a weak bridge. He quickly learned why they don't allow big rigs on this road. We're guessing his buddies helped him out after mocking him from the high ground. Maybe next time he'll listen to the weight limit signs, assuming he didn't lose his job. This journey between Albuquerque, New Mexico and Amarillo, Texas is an easy four-hour drive across Interstate 40. It's basically a straight line through flat, barren lands. On July 9th of 2023, a couple was driving behind a friendly semi-truck, which we'll call truck number one. Then, a different, more aggressive trucker, truck number two, came up behind them. According to our couple, he was all over the road. Wait until you see what he does to truck number one. The man checked on truck number one while his wife called 911. Thankfully, he only suffered a few bumps and bruises. It's hard to hide on a highway like I-40. Police quickly caught up with truck number two and questioned the driver. It's unclear if he was arrested. Based on the dash cam footage, truck number two clearly ran number one off the road. Whether or not he did it on purpose is anyone's guess. Distracted driving is dangerous driving. Looking away for five seconds while driving 55 miles per hour is like driving the length of a football field with your eyes closed. Consider yourself lucky if you don't hit anything. This Chinese driver thought he'd put his luck to the test. He was driving down a highway in Shenzhen, a city in Guangdong province of over 12 million people. With so many drivers on the road, looking away for a millisecond could spell disaster. But this driver didn't care. He played on his phone and smoked a cigarette. And, wouldn't you know it, 
Karma had something to say about that. Look closely and you can see the moment his cab disconnects from the fireball. He's lucky he didn't flip with the oil tank. If he did, our driver wouldn't have walked away. It didn't take long for the fire to engulf everything in sight. Look at how tall the smoke cloud gets as people watch from a distance. You might think a volcano had just erupted. Firefighters had to pull out all the stops to get this blaze under control. It looks like they're just trying to wet the area around the fire and let the oil burn itself out. In the end, three vehicles and a few public utilities suffered fire damage. Thankfully, nobody was hurt, including our distracted driver. We assume he learned a valuable lesson. Hopefully, you learned one too. Distracted driving is dangerous driving. Pitsanulok, Thailand is a small city about 230 miles north of Bangkok. It's home to roughly 62,000 people who are fed up with the poor road conditions. You see, Thailand is notorious for having some of the worst roads in the world. This video is one of many examples. It's not uncommon to see low-hanging power lines over Thai streets. One or two is okay, but some areas have dozens running to the same transformer. They sag so low that large trucks are banned from driving on certain roads. These delivery drivers didn't get that message. According to reports, the truck drivers were heading toward the city center. They were just following their GPS and didn't know they couldn't make it down this street. Look how close everyone comes to getting a lethal dose of electricity. The wires nearly hit the truck passenger's elbow. Had the light not turned green up ahead, the cables would have landed right on top of those scooter drivers. Thankfully, everybody was okay. For years, Thailand has said that they want to move these wires underground. So far, only a few streets in Bangkok have actually done it. Lightning is one of Mother Nature's most powerful phenomena. It travels at about 270,000 miles per hour. It gets as hot as 50,000 degrees Fahrenheit and produces roughly 300 million volts of electricity. It's no wonder people love watching lightning storms. Just uh, don't get too close. It was September 19th of 2015. A couple was driving through Eugene, Oregon when a thunderstorm developed overhead. They'd be safe in their car if lightning ever struck it. We can't say the same if the lightning strikes the trees. Our driver is right. Even though everything tells his fiance to run away from the car, the safest place they can be right now is inside. It will survive another lightning strike and will protect them from falling debris. Clearly, his opinion changed when the tree caught fire. Thankfully, our couple was okay in the end. Our driver's truck did suffer some damage, but it was nothing his mechanic couldn't fix. Drivers in Russia found themselves in a similar situation on September 9th of 2015. This time, there were no trees to hit.
This video puts the old myth to bed. Lightning can and will strike the same place twice. While you'll be safe inside, your car might sustain some damage. A lightning bolt can easily melt the antenna and fry the electrical system. And no, a second bolt won't kickstart it again. The number one rule of crane driving is the same as tow truck driving. Make sure the arm is down when not in use. This crane driver in Zhoukou, China didn't get that message. In a city of over 9 million people, he might be the dumbest. It was January 10th of 2024. A couple was sitting in their car near an active construction site. They were engrossed in conversation and never saw the crane truck heading toward them. By the time they noticed, it was far too late. <laughs> Let's roll that back again. Watch how close the black car gets to being covered in falling debris. Either they pulled away at the best possible time, or they saw the crash and assumed something bad was about to happen. Several spectators came to check on the driver. According to local reports, he was okay, but the awning was a lost cause. On the bright side, they already had a construction crew nearby. Did you know that manhole covers date back to 3500 BC? They're attributed to the ancient Romans, who developed the first underground sewage systems. They remained largely unchanged until the 19th century, when more modern manhole covers were invented. Unfortunately, not all manhole covers are as heavy and sturdy as they should be. Take this one in Russia, for example. In April of 2012, this driver learned why driving over them isn't as safe as it seems. A mounted camera above the crash shows what happened from a different angle. Look closely, and you can see some sort of grate over the open hole. We're thinking they're doing some work in the sewer and left this grate as a placeholder. Multiple cars moved it over time, creating a booby trap for the next unlucky person. It looks like the back left tire gets stuck in the hole. The car's forward momentum causes it to bounce, flip, and roll to a stop. In fact, you can see where the temporary manhole grate landed right next to the hood. A few spectators rushed in to make sure everybody was okay. The driver emerged from their shattered windshield, looking flustered but unharmed. Ganzhou, China is a prefecture-level city in Jiangxi province. It's home to about 8.9 million people and dates back to the Three Kingdoms period in 200 CE. In that time, there have been plenty of crazy close calls, like this one from July of 2016. A couple was driving down the highway when they tried passing a fully loaded flatbed. That's when something fell off the truck and began bouncing toward their car. Let's see that one more time in slow motion. From what we can gather, some type of iron piece fell off the truck. It was heavy enough to bounce off the ground and poke a hole in our driver's windshield. It also did a number to the hood of his car. You can see where the iron struck twice before flying over his vehicle. Thankfully, they could get over to the side and inspect the damage. According to reports, police began looking for the truck driver immediately, though we imagine he was hard to find in a city of over 8 million people. January 20th of 2016, State Patrol Sergeant Jeff Shea had just pulled over a semi-truck for a routine inspection. They stopped before a railroad crossing near Eveleth, a small city in St. Louis County. Everything was going fine. The truck passed inspection, but Sergeant Shea decided to wait and let the driver go first. It's a good thing he did. He wouldn't have been there to witness this catastrophe.
584 Virginia. I just had a train strike a truck out here at uh, 7 and 101. Send a medical. The train dragged the semi truck about a quarter mile before it finally stopped. Sergeant Shea called in the accident and drove to check on the driver. He's forced to keep things slow as he moves along the snowy side road. He was probably expecting the worst when he finally arrived. You okay? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. I thought you were gonna stop. I didn't think you were gonna go all the way through. I was, I just watching that car go in front of me and I wasn't even okay you know, all right the other car stopped there and turned I was just watching the other car yep gotcha hurry right. looking back you can see the other car our driver was talking about he moves left to take a right turn putting him on a collision course with the train thankfully he was all right just frustrated by the whole situation he described how he's used to a different railroad crossing with arms when he saw the car go, he assumed it was safe. He must have missed the four sets of flashing lights and the blaring train horn. In the end, he was cited for failing to stop at a railroad crossing. Hopefully, the fine and embarrassment taught him a valuable lesson. Always look both ways when crossing the railroad tracks. It was February 11th of 2018. Officers in Columbus, Ohio, were on their way to deal with a wrong-way driver. Multiple people had called 911, warning of a white Ford Taurus driving toward oncoming traffic on I-670. Officers Ward and Buck were heading east when they saw the driver approaching them. They flipped on their lights and pulled a quick U-turn as the Taurus blew by. Stopping this maniac was their top priority. <laughs> Officers took the 26-year-old suspect into custody after performing a textbook pit maneuver. It didn't take an expert to know he was heavily intoxicated. Stats from AAA show that drunk wrong-way drivers were responsible for most of the fatal accidents between 2010 and 2018. Most don't realize they're going the wrong way until it's too late. Luckily, this chase ended without anybody getting hurt. If you enjoyed this video and want to see another just like it, then be sure to click the link on screen now. With that, thanks for watching and be sure to tune in next time.